Hi, and welcome to Wednesday of Wayne. There's a story in the Bible I'm sure you're very familiar with. It's about a woman, and this woman was set up for failure. In the process, she was caught in the act of adultery. She is dragged before Jesus, and she's thrown at his feet. And I can imagine just the, the dust rising from, from her as she's thrown at the feet. And, and they were hoping to trap Jesus. You see, Jesus was going about forgiveness and grace and all of this. And the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they didn't like this talk. Let me see, set the scene for you. There were this angry mob of men, their white knuckles, rocks in their hands. And they're ready to, to throw these rocks at this woman. With a snarl on their voices, they go, The law of Moses says she should be stoned. What do you say? Well, Jesus was always talking about grace and forgiveness. So what do you say? Are you going to disagree with Moses? Now, we know that Jesus didn't come to the world to condemn the world, but to give life to the world. But at the same time, Jesus didn't actually come to lower standards. When he was questioned, he said, Do not think that I've come to lower the standards. The law of Moses says, If, if you uh, commit adultery, that's a sin. But I tell you, if you look at a woman with lust in your heart, it's as though you've sinned. He says, I've come to higher high the standards, not lower the standards. I love Jesus' answer to the mob. He, he looks at me and goes, well, you want to know what to do? He used with bad said, let him throw the first stone. Then Jesus bends down and he starts writing something in the dust. We don't know what he wrote. What we do know is from the oldest to the youngest, they dropped their rocks and walked away. God knew they were going to walk away before they even knew they were going to walk away. God knows everything's going to happen to you in your work, in your rest, in your play, before you know what's going to happen to you. He knows what's going to happen tomorrow. He knows what's going to happen next week. He knows what's going to happen next year. He knows everything that's ever going to happen to you. Remember the night before Jesus went to the cross? He's with his disciples and Peter is boasting. Him. All these other clans, they may deny you, but Jesus, I will die for you. I will stick with you right to the end. Jesus turned and goes, I have prayed for you, Pete. Because Satan has sought to sift you like wheat. And you, you think you understand for me? Before this night is out, you'll deny me three times. Jesus had already prayed for Peter in a storm that Peter had not even yet faced. The same is true for you. Jesus is praying for you for everything you're going to go through this year. And you don't even know what you're going to go through this year. In fact, Jesus is interceding for you right now. What an incredible thought. He's interceding for you right now. Romans says, Who is he then who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of the Father interceding for you. What a great thought. It's one thing to have your mum pray for you. It's one thing to have your dad pray for you. But fancy that Jesus Christ is praying for you right now. Well, that's my thought for Wednesday at Wayne. I've got one big announcement. This Sunday we're having a new arrivals lunch. So if you're new to our church, never been to a new arrivals lunch, come along, we're going to have a great time. We're not asking you to sign up to anything. We're asking just that let's get to know each other and learn, learn some of the values of our church. Uh, you may meet someone, invite them along. Anyway, God bless. Looking forward to seeing you Friday night church and Sunday morning church. God bless.